captured me was this head movement and how powerful that is. Where I want to take this is using smaller puppets to tell stories. This story is set in Tasmania in a beautiful place of the world called Cradle Mountain and it's actually a story about facing adversity and dealing with the personal challenge. That's actually a very close depiction of me with my trekking pole. Yes. <laughs> so, and including the, you know, the sense of achievement when you get up to the top and looking back at it and going, wow, I still don't believe I did that. And then remembering that if those people hadn't have been there, then it wouldn't have happened. For me, the essence of it was, like, um, the essence of it was that suddenly they were there helping and then they weren't there. And so it was a sense of having to accept that sometimes on life's journey you've got to be prepared to do you know to, to have people there helping you, supporting you, rather yeah. than I can do this by myself. There's a wonderful uh, poem by a French author called Jacques Prévert and it's about a, a classroom and it's a very boring maths class and it's un et deux, trois, you know, it's just un et deux, un et un, deux, deux et deux, trois, quatre et quatre, um, cinq. Cinq. cinq, and it just goes on and on like that and, and the kids are all escaping from this very, very boring classroom. And the blackboard and the chalk turns into a bird and the, and the whole room just disintegrates into this beautiful scene and the kids just escape from this very, very boring classroom. Mm -hmm. The way that this, what we've done today has reached past, I've got a very real sense of a lot of us had sort of some sort of barrier or another in expressing ourselves, and I know I do. And this steps right past that effortlessly. And I think, yeah, I'm, I'm going to explore hard hat. <laughs> <laughs>